Hi, everyone. It is June 27, 2021. I'm going to read comments, and I'm going to show you that every single day, yeah, we are definitely in a dark war, a war, a world war, that, well, I guess, is uh, remaining hidden from an awful lot of people who... Well, their brains, they just, it, they, that brain doesn't beg questions. They don't see the obvious. What the hell is going on with the world's human race? Before I read the comments, let me just ask again. What's happening with the volume with you guys? On my end, it is perfectly fine. I've gone through this now. I've had to ask periodically. I I think a lot of people are using different devices, so your your volume levels are different. I don't know. I don't have a problem on my end. So, and uh, frankly, because this goes on, I don't know what to do about it. Okay, I. It does not appear to be coming from my end. Anyway, let's get to the comments. Carol, are you on Twitter? No. People around the world can see this and the lie can be shown to even more people. We need a global response to this lie. I share it on my Facebook page, Twitter page, uh, same name, Hope for Humanity, community pages too. The Germany hailstorm wasn't real, it was man-made. I've been in four floods in Houston and finally moved up to the mountains of Colorado. This will slowly but surely cause true desperation, the war without a single shot. If people don't work to stop this lie, it will make people ask for help from the United Nations, exactly what they want. Yes. Yes, I agree. And it's coming. Um, thank you for circulating the information. It is why I post and I get so few people telling me what they're doing, whether or not they're circulating the information. And I need, I need that. I need to know that this information is going somewhere. So thank you, Hope for Humanity. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know, I see, there's an awful lot of people who are not just on one, you know, social media platform, but they're all over the place, and frankly, I have a hard time with that, with my brain that uh, was stroked, and uh, I just, boy, if you saw my life, you'd understand, but... Maybe I'll try. I don't know. I can't handle too much. And that is pissing me off because my limitations are getting more and more. So, anyway, Northeast Texas. We have had an incredible amount of rain. Several days ago, we got supreme heat. We do not get that kind of heat in mid-June till now. It feels like late July to August temperatures. They had the descending plains, and that means bad weather nine out of ten times within two or three days. Mold, moss, mildew all over, 80% humidity in my house. I have been trying to acclimate to the heat. Now the topsoil is baked but still wet underneath. Now we have to watch for flooding again. The term dark war is appropriate. I read a story yesterday. They want to bring a climate lockdown. Yes. Oh, they're coming. Lockdowns due to climate change. The sun is much hotter than it's ever been. It feels like an oven outside. Even when temperatures are in the 80s. It's burning holes in the leaves 
of my outdoor plants. It always helps when you leave the area where you are. But it, look, the Northeast, all over, people are experiencing the sun as incredibly hot. Ohio has all of the west, West's rain. Uh, Michigan, Michigan right now, Detroit in particular, which, boy, there's more to what took place in Detroit, which may just be a part two to this. All so horrifying. Yes, it is. I wonder if weather geoengineering literally steals moisture from other locations. It does. In Northern California, it has been so dry, I noticed around me tons of oak trees with yellowing leaves in June. Wow. Dropping leaves, crispy brown leaves. I also noticed the animals and even lizards desperate for water. Had to get up, not sure if packing to get out from smoke smells. When I read these comments, I'm, I'm like, oh God, no. Smoke smells, Northern California. Okay, well, let me know if anything's going on, guys, please. Uh, in Northeast Texas, we have had, okay, I don't understand why this happens. This is Kelly L's comment, right? Yes, Kelly L, and then it ends up being somebody else's. Okay. The sun is much hotter. Another one. How, why is this happening? All right, I'm, I'm gonna get off this because I don't understand what, why comments that someone writes ends up repeating under different usernames. So, yeah, this video, boy, a lot of you are experiencing severe weather. Strange winds came through. Indiana took out a lot of trees and branches. Yep, because I've been looking at those areas this morning and you had tornadoes in Indiana. Uh, just a bit north of you in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. And yes, the sun is intense and the days are long and hottest, the hottest part is near sunset. That I've noticed too. It does get hotter around sunset. So at eight o'clock at night, it feels hotter than and sunset, well, I'm, I'm not even sure what, I've not looked, but, well, the light, it doesn't get dark here until, I don't know, quarter of 11 or, um, I, I've noticed when I've said that, a lot of people are like, what? You know, and I've spoken to people in South Carolina and they're like, what? You're kidding. We never knew. Okay, so what is it? You know, I, I'm so used to really the Northeast, but then Southeast and you get, it gets hotter, you know, throughout the day. Remember when the sun was the hottest around noon, high noon? Well, I noticed that even in the Northeast and the Southeast that the sun Four o'clock in the afternoon, five o'clock in the afternoon, six o'clock in the afternoon, it would still be burning. That white sun. Okay, things are very different today. And yeah, I do think that the white sun uh, that we are now seeing has one factor. The, the incredible spraying of aluminum and the nanoparticulates, the metals. But um, here in Montana, it could be eight o'clock or even nine o'clock 
and the sun is still beating down, which is, I think, very strange. But I've, you know, spoken to people here, and um, they said, this past winter and then spring and now, I mean, for it to be, uh, I think it was 90 degrees that I saw already, June, Montana, that is not what the temperatures should be. But the weather here, um, winter, spring, and now summer, that has been very unusual. Maryland, the sun feels like it is magnified. In the shade, it's fine, but the sun is truly scorching. Yes, it is. Connecticut, we're supposed to have uh, to be in the 90s starting Monday through Thursday. Okay, I'm from the Northeast. The Northeast, um, New York, New England area, would have a heat wave, and it would be like the last two weeks of August, and it would be in the 90s or 95 or something. It was always in the 80s. That's my memory of it. Um, You guys in the Northeast, you tell me if I'm wrong about that, but, you know, the weather to be in the 90s in Connecticut, now that, well, they're pushing it. They want everybody believing in the climate change bullshit. I grew up around Chicago. This is not normal. No, that's what I'm hearing from many people all over the world. Every, you know, it's not normal. So what's going on? Oh, it's climate change? Well, a whole lot of lazy people, you know, feel very comfortable accepting all of the lies. They won't do the research to find out we are being lied to. And unfortunately, those lies, well, that's what liars bring to the world. A whole lot of destruction. West Virginia. I thought to myself as I stepped outside this morning that the air was suffocating. Suffocating. The sky was laden, well, with you know what. Yes, chemtrails. In Michigan, several tornadoes around our area yesterday. Yeah, I know. Once again, you know, you come on here, you do a little bit of research, and you're like, holy shit. It's the the massive destruction. I, I, it's really, and a whole lot of people don't know. That's why, you know, I try to bring the big picture so that people understand that this affects all of us. What happens in Michigan affects people in Montana. What happens in California, Oregon, Washington affects people in New York and in New England. What happens down south in Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia? It affects everyone. The ripple effect. People have to keep that in mind always. Always. You know, we've got an awful lot of Americans more and more each day, falling through the cracks, suffering, struggling to just survive. And when you have an awful lot of people in your own society who are not not due to anything, you know, that they've brought upon themselves, just due to their circumstances, have an energy that is, you know, I, I, and... I so don't want anybody to take this as a judgment, but in terms of energies, positive and ne- uh, negative, the negative, okay? And it, it literally begins to pull us all down. Now, you've got a lot of desperate people who are, well, now without a home, they're freaking out. A whole lot of Americans have never done any work on themselves. They do not know who they are. And when stressed, especially the kind of stress that, oh, now I have no place to go. I have no resources. My house is now, literally, it's been destroyed. Flooding, tornadoes, fire, whatever. 
you have a lot of people who begin to regress. They begin to regress. Chronic stress. Yeah, it's dangerous uh, for your physical health, but it's also, it affects you mentally and emotionally. People act out when they don't understand themselves. That's why I wish that you know, we had somehow been able to organize something you know, put up a site where people donate a dollar a month, you know, to help people, you know, to keep them somewhat balanced or something. But, well, chemtrails are extremely intense here. X's and shapes cover the sky and people just go on with their days like nothing is happening. That's it. That's how we roll Arizona. Funny you mentioned that feeling of no oxygen. About a week ago I went outside in the AM right before sunrise. The air was so dense and so still. I felt as though there was no air to breathe. I had to go inside to get some air. It's so weird. I also felt the same thing in the evening around sunset give or take an hour. Yes. Okay. That, that, oh, there's no life in the air. There's no life. It's so still. I experienced that a lot in South Carolina. It was an eerie feeling, kind of like in the, the eye of a hurricane. No life and hard to breathe. I never experienced that up until a few years ago. So something has changed. Um, it's getting harder to breathe. Yes, it is. It felt like there was no oxygen in the air this morning in Indiana. When I woke up, I drive a long way across the country and I've actually felt that in Arizona, Washington State. Yeah, it's a worldwide phenomenon. Um, Northeast has never, has never been so hot, humid, humid days like the past few years. It's the reason I moved to the north instead of going south. Now I'm thinking I live in Florida. I look out the window and nope, still in the northeast. Okay. Humidity is not foreign to the northeast, but not all the time, so hot and... North Missouri, I agree about it not getting dark till 10 p.m. and the oxygen gone. North Missouri, I thought you had the same kind of, you know, it's going to get dark, um, kind of like South Carolina and everything. 11 p.m. at dark, is that normal? I guess so here in Montana. I've never seen that in all my years. I'm in Florida and we aren't that hot. Hmm. London had its biggest protest ever yesterday. Did you catch it? I did. Video coming up. And a hurricane hits? Wasn't it that tornado? Didn't hear about a hurricane. Um, it's really weird hot weather in the Puget Sound. No clouds again at 5 a.m. Normally, they have clouds. This is very, very close to the coast or perhaps even on the coast. You can hardly be outside uh, yesterday or this a.m. Please pray for our wildlife. Yeah. No water? Whole lot of suffering. Here in southwest Louisiana, I know so many people with allergies sinusitis, coughing for weeks, the air is thick to breathe. Eastern Oklahoma, I've noticed that the storm seemed to be generating around here. And then it hits Arkansas and Missouri hard. The forecast will be for clear uh, 
forecast will be for a clear day and all of a sudden clouds will start to form. So I'll go out, um, I'll go and look at the radar and sure enough a thunderstorm will form out of nowhere and will stretch all the way to Ohio. So once once it's uh, fully formed. It's crazy, but I've noticed this a lot over the past couple of weeks. A lot of the storms also are generated. Texas, West Texas, even the Panhandle, but West Texas close to the Mexico border. You'll see it. There's a line of little dots that suddenly appear. Massive headaches and nausea here in Southwest Mississippi started a week ago. Well, Mississippi, you sure are getting your weather brought to you by the weather terrorists. Though it's not too hot here and my lungs are clear, I feel like there is not enough oxygen to breathe satisfactorily. It's uncomfortable. Here in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, definitely lacking oxygen and the sun is vicious hot. Vicious hot, that's a very good description. In the Virgin Islands last night, booming in the clouds, no lightning or thunder. Ah, that is, that's what I experienced in South Carolina quite often. Now, when those frequencies cross, they can create that booming sound. It is 5 a.m. here in Tulsa and have had storming. Looking at the weather map, the one you use right now, it should be going crazy outside. More like the eye of the hurricane, if you ask me. Weather is mad now, so either it's getting ready to let loose here big time or there is not much happening. And then a few minutes later, she writes, here it comes. Hang in there. Here in Wisconsin, we had rain for three days. Heavy at times, scheduled rain for another week. My basement flooded several times already. This is causing, you know, at the very least, inconvenience. And then go down that scale causing horrific suffering. 100% degree Doppler in effect hard in Australia. Oh yeah. And I read this great article a while ago. Um, our military, U.S. military, we perform experiments in Australia earthquakes, weather mod. Australia, I'm sorry to say, you're not an independent country. None of us are. None of us are. It was surreal seen in Detroit. Now, this is what got me. And reading this. It was a surreal scene in Detroit, abandoned vehicles everywhere, the Whitmer fake fix the damn roads campaign, the amount of vehicles caught in construction sites where cones were washed away was madness. Fire trucks were abandoned in my old Jefferson neighborhood. Five feet of standing water out of nowhere. The drain systems were shut off and all sewers were shooting water out of them. This was a deliberate flood here. Uh, here comes BlackRock and the Sustainable Development Goals. That's right. Now, I do have a lot of videos on the connection between this weather modification, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, how our federal agencies, particularly FEMA, come in. They flood you out. They repeat the floods. You can't sell your home. Nobody's going to buy it. FEMA steps in and throws you pennies on the dollar to purchase your home. And then they raise it because they want, oh, you know, it's part of the sustainable goals. The, no structures. 
No structures. What does that mean? They've been doing this actually for decades, and it's only, well, well because of the amount of flooding, it's only been increasing. Uh, I have videos on my playlists, whether it's weather modification or Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, or maybe even geoengineering. I don't know, but um, this has been going on for decades, only increasing, and this is how they move people into their mega regions. But he goes on. I work midnights. This happened fast. I deliver parts for the suppliers for the truck plant. It was a miracle. Uh, I wasn't on 94 or 96 or 75. Those are the interstates. Or the South Field or the lodge. I took side streets from Dearborn to St. Clair, Clare Shores. That's the entire east to west side of Detroit. All freeways were underwater. Most main thoroughfares impassable. Cars abandoned. People making panic decisions everywhere, literally driving into danger, construction zones. I actually had that shit hits the fan feeling like oh frig I need to get my kids out of the city as fast as financially possible which is never considering we now have five very white privileged souls in our one bedroom palatial estate mold infested apartment in FEMA region 5 with critical race theory and the 17 uh, sustainable development goals of guilt to educate them. It's a disgrace trying to play the Americana with little ones. I'm in way over my head. Thank God I made it home safely to work another day. We could not afford even a $100 setback, let alone the loss of our vehicle or our home flooded to re relocate nowhere. I pray for the peasants of this world, like me who see with hands tied. So, this is what's going on with millions of people. This is what's going on with millions. So, I'm in Kansas. We had so much rain yesterday that we had six to 12 inches of standing water all over our backyard. Once the storm hit, it stalled and just dumped massive amounts of rain on us. It's crazy. We're still cleaning up water in our basement because our sump pump was struggling to keep up. Attack on food, yes, yes. Oh, farms are going down just left and right. I live in central Iowa, farming country, and the rain from today was extremely heavy for a short period of time ever since the derecho storm last summer, derecho or derecho, last summer. I have been extremely anxious about storms. We have never seen something like that in the city. There was so much damage everywhere, and it was heartwarming to see how many people came out to help each other clean up. Yeah, I've, I, I've been posting on it. I know it. And you know what I don't like to see in the comment section? People responding with, you, know, you need God, you need Jesus, no fear, you'll be taken care of, don't worry. I'd really, and I've said this for you know 12 years, I have always wanted the comment section. I see more and more people shutting off the comment section. Why? Because <laughs> there are so many people who love to attack other people and they put in their bullshit and then they, you got the trolls, you got the shills, you got... All right. I, I have said I can't do that because this is where you guys, this is your section. And 
you know, people hook up, people actually are able to, you know, find out, oh, wow, reading the comments, oh, my God, I thought I was the only one who felt this. See, I'm not. Okay. That's why I, it will never be shut off on my channel. But I do not like to see people getting attacked when they are expressing how they're feeling. And I blocked someone yesterday for doing just that. And I have to wonder, those who are just saying, oh, have no fear, you know, uh, God will take care of you. Perhaps they've just never experienced anything horrific where, geez, huh, I have no resources, so God, where are you? Hey, snap your fingers, God. Put my house back together. God works through people. There's a whole lot of people who claim, who claim, claim to know God, claim to believe, but those comments show me uh, God's not in you. And the reason why one of the reasons why we're in this mess is because there's a whole lot of people who claim to believe, but they don't walk the talk. Oh, I know. Oh, she hates Christians. No, I do not. I love Christians who actually walk the talk, which means they don't lie. You can trust them because yeah, in that Bible, very clear, God says, lying is an abomination. <sighs> Jesus wouldn't just throw down a comment. All right. Hot in Oregon. I'm in Salem. It was 104 degrees. Tomorrow, 111 in Portland. 116 in Salem. I have never seen 116 in Salem. I used to live in our, uh, Arizona and it never got that hot. It's difficult to breathe, not just because of the heat, but the chemtrails are so bad. Oregon, you can barely even see the sun. And what you can see is white, not yellow, like it used to be. My dogs won't even go outside. Get ready, folks. Here come the fires. They are going to burn us out. And I am, I, look, I don't know about this area of Montana. Maybe I am now um, in Fireland, but not like Oregon and not like Washington, not like California. And perhaps because I have for years posted on the fires. Yeah, I'm worried too. Well, all you can do is prepare, I guess. I'm living in Germany. When I was younger, 80s, 90s, the sun was more orange. Now it's white. It's a totally different kind of heat than 10, 20, 30 years ago. That's exactly right. And I do think the white has an awful lot to do with the uh, nanoparticulates. They're spraying the metal, the... the Oh, 72 degrees at 2.58 a.m., 92 in New Jersey. It will be. Wow. Now, the, the, those are the temperatures that, no, you didn't see in June in the Northeast. Do you think some of these stem from Nibiru or warm wood? No. No, I don't. In South Carolina... Okay, I'm going to be posting a video, uh, which, frankly, to be honest, I've been a little scared to post because, well, keeping that comment section open, um, but I will be posting a video on the move and uh, talking about, you know, South Carolina and Montana and, and just moving now in the United States. And... All the things that you never 
think about. Now I had no time to think because of my circumstances, but things that you just don't even consider, then when you get to the place, you're like, okay, ah, learning lesson. Um, there's a lot to consider. So I'll be posting a video on that. Um, and Montana, yeah, fastest real estate market in the United States. Not sure about that, but because real estate is now exploding, whoa, it's fast, gobbling up, you know, hedge funds, uh, BlackRock, all right. But millionaires and billionaires buying up Montana? True. True. You are absolutely correct, Carol. They are using nanobots to control the weather. The terminology for the technology, ants. Thank you. Couldn't remember that. The swarming of these nanobots, autonomous nanotechnology swarms. Weather modification playlist on my channel. I have videos on this technology that they're using. Spraying this stuff into the atmosphere. Um, and ants is uh, the swarming of the nanobots. The sun has been feeling hotter. Southwest Washington, oh yeah. 3 a.m. and still 79 degrees. Mm, I guess this person is also in Washington. <sighs> we are in trouble. Very hot in Southern Oregon. Eastern Washington here. And yep, heat, you can expect fires all over. I'm terrified on a daily basis during this murder season. I wish people could effing see. You know what? Whatever it is that you feel, no one should judge you for it, attack you for it. Feelings are a communication. They're a communication to the self. And while, yeah, I mean, granted, there are people that have their issues and their feelings might be, you know, somewhat out of whack. And I think we've all been there. Uh, some of us, due to our issues, uh, spent an awful long time there. But um, regardless, no one should be attacked. And when you've experienced these fires, when you're living in this area, terrified, yeah, I'd say that's probably appropriate. Don't let it stop you. You keep going. You keep functioning. But when we're looking at this kind of heat, of course, those West Coast states, California, Oregon, Washington, I, I don't know how you guys do it, actually. I'm dying from 100 degrees here in Seattle. They're trying to kill us in the Northwest. They're trying to kill us all over. They are killing us all over. Make sure you drink salt water. Uh, use Redmond salt full of mil minerals. Just don't drink water. It will dehydrate you. I, I'm wondering if that's what's going on with me because I feel like my throat, my mouth is, no matter how much I'm drinking, just dry. Gatorade, um, Peter Light. Well, check out the ingredients of these. I, I would go with Gatorade first because I posted a video on this and I can't remember exactly, but Peter Light, not very good. East Washington, I have livestock. Okay, those who have livestock, those who have the farms, wow. I am, I'm heartbroken for you. Out here in Alberta, it was hot and dry. It felt like I was in a desert. This week it's going to be around 40 Celsius, over 100 Fahrenheit. Now, that's not normal in Alberta in June. Just four months ago, we had minus 45 degrees. So cold, you, couldn't, you could see ice crystals in the air. 
In Alberta, we are getting chemtrailed to death. Looks like more people are believing the climate change, seeing more posts on Facebook. Great. So they bring about these manufactured severe weather events. And where do people go? Believing the lie. And I have to tell you, believing a lie, first of all, I don't believe that there's even an adult in this country, in particular, the United States of America, that thinks that mainstream media and government officials actually tell the truth. We have been a people who just accept lie after lie after lie. So we're part of the lie. It makes us part of the lie. You got to say to your dance partner, I'm done with your, the way you're dancing life. I'm done. And then put yourself on the road of truth. You're just as, in fact, those who accept the lies, I would say are more dangerous than the liar because they water the liar. Hey, let's just keep lying. And yeah, let's just have strong roots of lies. And then chaos from your lies. I'll water them with my acceptance. If you didn't accept lying, if we as Americans did not accept liars and lying, we wouldn't be in this mess. We would not be in this mess. Well, I'm in Nevada. No air, hard to breathe, haven't had any rain to speak of. Lake Mead is drying up. The chemtrails being sprayed down is keeping the heat in so the earth cannot breathe or exhale at night, and that's true. UK, cloud day in, day out, gray, not at all depressing. Okay, yeah, outside Philly, and it's been sticky for weeks. We went from heat one night to air conditioning the very next day. Oh, putting heat on in the house, then air conditioning. That's how it was in Montana. I couldn't believe it. It was like, okay, all right, finally, you know, the spring weather's here. And then starting a fire, more fires every single day. It was like, okay, well, it was all over the place. The air is thick, soupy, gross, very hard on my diseased lungs, and I've never smoked tobacco. I like that. I've never smoked, well, tobacco. Sounds like the humidity here in Alabama. Yeah, it's horrible. It's terrible. I'm wheezing all the time, and they think we're stupid and can't figure out it's man-made weather. Well, a lot of people, uh, look. They just have to uh, re-ignite their brain cells. Um, But there's an awful lot of people who are adamant. They, with, with great, you know, arrogance, hostility, will not give up their willful ignorance. West Yorkshire. Cloud rain, more cloud. I still have a slight tan from last year, and I'm Irish. Totally normal? Not. Be safe. I'm in Columbia River, George. Gorge, Oregon. On the river. It was 102. Tomorrow might be 111. Monday, 115. It's like we're in the Arizona desert, unheard of. Right on the other side of the river in Washington, it was 109 here. Crazy hot. Colville, Washington, same, 104. Battleground here, be careful. I know they are going to burn us out, especially in the gorge. Oof. Yes. That almost got us the last time, the fires. You can see all the green trees up in the mountains are silver, dry, ugly, 
We were spraying our houses and yards with water as embers were falling down. Half our town were evacuated and the other half were on standby. Yeah, people living this and then having, having to live it repeatedly. Should these people just be carefree? Is it really? The humidity is horrid here in Missouri. We are waiting for the heat to catch up. It's almost unbearable now. Humidity was horrific in St. Louis. Then came the rain. And where I live, they still did fireworks at 10 p.m. with the added thunder. It was loud and crazy. Harp. Okay. Just read an article about how, oh, well, now they've restarted harp as if as if oh it was just down for years and they had no use for it please crazy heat lightning in central Missouri last few nights you got hit in areas of Missouri with a lot of flooding saw a video uh, I can't remember where it was in Missouri but when the rescuers finally got to the car I, I believe it was a family. They were all dead. <laughs> okay. So, um, you know, I need real life again. You know, the interaction, communication with people, the um, energy transfer, whatever you want to call it. Sounds kind of new age, but no, I am not a new ager. Um, and that's why, I, you know, sometimes I think to myself, I just want to read comments. I just want to respond. I want the give and take, you know. I don't want to be just talking to myself and then alone reading all of you guys. So if you're still with me, thank you for hanging on this long. A lot of people are really suffering. And I just really, I just want everybody to be as generous as you can be with your time and your energy and your money and just whether there's a great storm or not. You know, th that is truly the only possible way of manifesting something better is if we individually do the work to be better. That's, that's it. That there's no other solution. No other solution. And I've said this for 12 years. So for all of you who clearly uh, need to do work on yourself to become the adult that you are, leaving comments saying, oh, all this fear-mongering and, and no solutions. Do I have to provide the solution for you? Can you not think of something to do in your own community? I'm sorry, but that means that you're brain dead. Tired. I've lost patience. 12 years of doing this, virtually every day, getting attacked. Yeah, I lose patience. And I've said now for years, clearly, we can't organize anything to get any agenda, you know, stopped or pushed back. Now the acceleration is so fast. But we can do things to help one another, to help those who are suffering from all of these agendas that are taking place. That's where we can act and do something. So, <sighs> I admit, I have always wanted the world to be a better place. Decades of me working on my issues 
The more I did, the more understanding, the more clarity I had looking back and realizing, you know, the heavy footprint that was not good that I had in the world. We've all been a part of this. We have all been a part of this nightmare. What we need to really do is to work every day to not be a part of it anymore. Whether it's speaking out, getting out there, helping your neighbors, um, just, you know, uh, being genuine and real in the world. Thank you for listening, and thank you, all of you who leave the comments that you are circulating the information. And again, you know, I don't care if you circulate my videos or the links below my videos. That's why I provide the links. I know me. I know that a whole lot of people wouldn't be able to tolerate how I sound. I leave the links below. It is why I post. And if I don't have, you know, in real life, I have no input. I have no feedback. Nothing. Zip. It's like a vacuous uh, thing. I'm living. Um, if I don't have the input from you guys, it makes it much harder for me to go on. Hearing what you're doing, whether it's circulating my information or somebody else's, and somebody left me a comment earlier saying, I hope you don't mind me leaving links to somebody else's channel. No. I want everyone's information circulated. Go for it. You know, um, anybody who minds having you know, a link underneath their video and it happens to be a link to somebody else's video has issues, you know, that need to be worked out. And especially now, especially now, we are, you know, will you be taken out tomorrow? Will you, you know, face uh, some horrific experience tomorrow, that could very well happen. We are at war. The war is against, yeah, the useless eaters. So, anybody who is hitting people with copyright strikes, saying that, you know, they can't, uh, you can't um, repost my video on your channel, um, getting upset about links, that's a person that's about themselves. They're not about the truth in terms of fighting, you know, for lack of a better word, this, well, this is what it is, a war between good and evil. I don't say that in a religious sense. I say that in, hey, a realistic sense. That's what's going on. So, you want to prevent people from circulating information that they feel is important? You have issues. You're about your own self. And it pisses me off. So, you know, we do have to do the work every single day to better our own self. Otherwise, we will be part of that side that so many don't want to be on and so many feel they're not on when they are. Ciao, guys.